May I join you? I wanted to catch you. Uh, the celebrations appear to be winding down with the sunrise. I've never witnessed such a lovely sight. That's love. That's... Whatever awaits, I would never... It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended and order finally restored. The Empress is unchallenged. But at what price? Blood drips from Selene's hands and all her court know it. However, none are in a position to move against her. The Empire's ties to the Inquisition remain strong both sides benefiting from the ongoing relationship. Some resent this, calling Selene the Inquisitor's puppet, though they do not do so openly. Orle prospers and soon forgets that it could very easily have been otherwise. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar Order, and a new Circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Theron Fall Redoubt are left with a choice. Many follow in the footsteps of Commander Cullen, going through the slow and agonizing process of Lyrium withdrawal. When the Divine reforms the Templar Order, they elect to remain with the Inquisition under Cullen's command. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.
You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Dread Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well, old friend.